Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a 2015 Chevy Silverado. The customer installed a used six-speed transmission and it needs to be programmed. We'll walk you through the process of extracting the data from the original transmission and programming the donor unit using IO Terminal. If you're into automotive diagnostics and programming, you're in the right place. Let's get started. All right, this is our diagram. This is for the six L's, six-speed GMs. We've got two powers, we've got a flat ground, two reds are powers, and we have our communication lines. Green is can low, yellow is can high. So this is our donor transmission. We are plugged into it using a uh, go diag. We just connect the uh, pins according to the wiring diagram. The go diag is an excellent tool. A lot of people rag it, but you know what? It hasn't let me down yet. This is a uh, power supply that I use. And that is IO Terminal, the saving grace. IO Terminal is hooked up to the uh, DLC through the Go Diag. And the Go Diag connects us to the transmission itself. Some people make connectors. Um, that way you can just plug it in real quick. I haven't done that yet, but I plan to in the future. So here we go, we're gonna click on Opel GM, go to TCM Info. I always like to read the information first and look at all the calibrations and the VIN number. Okay, so then we're gonna connect, go to the six L's, we go to connect, then we're gonna read our EEPROM first once it's done connecting. This generally goes extremely fast. You wanna save your file, then we're gonna move on and read the flash. As you can tell, the flash takes a lot longer, but it's also a much bigger file. So bigger the file, more data, longer wait time. I did select boot sector rewrite, that's checked. So don't forget to disconnect before you go and swap over to the new TCM. So we read the info on this one, which is our donor. We're gonna to connect to it, and then we're just gonna go ahead and write. I'm not trying to save this information, it doesn't matter to me. I selected boot, boot sector rewrite, which is fine. If you do boot sector rewrite, as you see here, it says it's full cloning. So you won't have to rewrite the EEPROM. However, I like to rewrite the EEPROM anyways. It's just a habit, so I do it. Um, as you can see, flash again. It takes a while. That is a big file. But IO Terminal is a very stable tool and it works fantastic. So I highly recommend it. I should have sped this up a little bit more. But that's okay. We're not in too big of a rush. So now that finished, we're gonna go ahead and open our EEPROM file and click write our EEPROM. Like I said, I do this just out of habit. Click disconnect. Read our TCM info, and we see that our VIN number has changed. It has worked. The calibration's changed. Everything is very good now. Go ahead and close out. We are all done. Thanks for watching today's episode. We successfully transferred the data from the original transmission over to the donor. This vehicle was able to drive and shift just fine after that. We used IO Terminal. This is a fantastic tool. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and programming. If you have any questions or you want to see something specific, drop a comment below. Stay tuned for our next video 